The type of treatment given for cholangiocarcinoma depends on which country you receive treatment in, what stage the tumour is, whether it's in a location that allows it to be surgically removed, and if it has spread to other organs. The main treatment options available are surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation therapy. Surgery is the only potentially curative option for cholangiocarcinoma, but this is possible in only approximately 25% of patients and is usually followed by a course of chemotherapy with capacitabine to prevent secondary cancers. There are several different types of surgery that can be carried out. Removal of the affected bile ducts is usually only performed in early stages of the disease when only the bile ducts are affected. The remaining healthy ducts are reconnected to the small intestine. Part of the liver may be removed, but again, this can only be carried out at earlier stages if the cancer is only in a certain part of the liver, which is removed with the bile ducts. The Whipple procedure may be performed, which is where the bile ducts, part of the stomach, part of the small intestine, the pancreas, gallbladder, and if affected, the surrounding lymph nodes are removed. The remaining organs are then reconnected. When removal of the tumour is not possible, the blocked bile duct can be bypassed to allow flow of bile to the small intestine to relieve blockages of the bile ducts and relieve the symptoms of jaundice. Finally, a stent can be inserted to hold open the bile ducts. A stent is a tube that can help prevent blockages. For patients who cannot have surgery, the first treatment option is chemotherapy with the anti-cancer drugs gemcitabine and cisplatin. If this doesn't work or the cancer has come back and is more advanced or has spread, a combination of folinic acid, fluorouracil and oxaliplatin, often referred to as folfox, may be used. These chemotherapy drugs are given intravenously and work together to destroy fast-growing cells, such as cancer cells, by interfering with the process of cell replication. However, because other cells in the body also divide quickly, they can cause a number of side effects, including easy bruising and bleeding, anemia, fatigue, susceptibility to infections, sickness, diarrhea, mouth ulcers, suppressed appetite, changes in taste, hair loss, and changes to skin and nails. Damage to the kidneys and liver may also occur as the body tries to excrete these toxic agents. Radiation therapy may be used to lower the risk of the cancer coming back after surgery or to relieve symptoms. It utilizes high energy X-rays, gamma rays, or protons to kill cancer cells. Stereotactic body radiation therapy, known as SBRT, directs radiation beams from many different positions around the body, which results in the cancer receiving high doses of radiation, but the surrounding tissues getting only a low dose, lowering the risk of side effects. Selective internal radiation therapy, known as CERT, uses small pellets of radioactive material that are put next to or into the tumour to minimise the risk of radiation to other organs and tissues. The side effects of radiation therapy are similar to chemotherapy and can also result in skin changes ranging from redness to blistering and peeling, but usually only in the area being treated. More personalised therapies for patients with specific gene mutations are being investigated. One targeted therapy that has already been approved in the US, UK and Europe is pemigatinib for patients who have a gene mutation called an FGFR2 fusion.